Well, We're glad um, to be here. first of all, what's wrong with this constitution that led uh, that it needs to be amended? I have to say that's a very tricky question. You are suggesting that uh, there is something wrong with this constitution. Well, I would leave that to the audience tonight whether they feel that there is a legitimacy in the current constitution. Uh, true, it may be that the constitution was uh, passed by a general referendum by the, 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 the Thai people, but it was drafted and created and, and inspired um, after the coup d'etat that ousted Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat. So I think it is a big concern for the people who are trying to push for the Charter Amendment. Um, their concern is that um, the current one lacks legitimacy. It gives mm -hmm. too much power to the bureaucrats, too much power for the judiciary. Uh, we've seen several pol political parties being disbanded um, uh, and many struggling be um, between the judiciary and, and, the, and, the, um, and the executive branch. So I think that's one particular uh, aspect why a lot of people, especially the Red Shirts, uh, members of the Red Shirts movement, are trying to support the, the, the amendment. Now, um, a group of lawmakers deems that the Article 291 needs to be amended to pave way to set up the Charter uh, Drafting Committee. Is this really necessary when we already have the uh, elected Senates? Well, I think this is interesting. Uh, if you look at Article uh, 291 of the Constitution, it provides uh, the procedures and the steps for the Parliament, uh, in a sense, um, to be the, the body that is responsible for amending the Constitution. But if you look at the past experience in Thai politics, sometimes the politicians themselves feel that if they are the ones who are going to amend the, the Charter people, the people might regard them as uh, political partisanships. Um, so they would like someone else um, to take this responsibility. And of course, the, the current proposal by several people is to have this body called Constitution Drafting Assembly, basically uh, gather people up from uh, provinces in Thailand through election, through special procedures of election, so we can regard them as non-political, non-partisan uh, members of the assembly mm -hmm. who can actually draft the constitution in the way that reflects the interests of, of the Thai society. But the second part of your question is also interesting. Um, you, you, you said that we already have the Senate. The right. Senate is supposed to be the wise and experienced um, uh, group of people who are who is not so inclined or who is not supposed to be politically inclined. Right. And we already heard the proposal from at least one uh, a key person that is uh, Kun Fossi, Sathya the uh, member of the election commission. Mm -hmm. She said, uh, and I think this is interesting, she said that it is very expensive, very um, uh, uneconomical for the mm -hmm. country to set up elections uh, in every province, to elect somebody who we are, who, uh, whereas at the same time we already elected 77 members of the Senate uh, who we also entrust them to be um, to, to be the the, um, the, 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 the watchman for, 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 as members of the parliament. So I think that's one interesting proposal. But the, the news you just presented before this phone in talks about the, uh, the leader of opposition supporting the idea by the whip of the government. I think that it uh, reflects the same strategy, the same formula used by um, the Constitution of 1997. That is, we elect. Uh, members of the of the Constitution Drafting Assembly from different provinces. The good thing is that it looks to be non-political. It looks to be representative of the people. But again, there are criticisms of this formula. Uh, for example, the the uh, Rule of Law com Commission chaired by Professor Ukrit Mongkon Nawin said mm -hmm. that if you look at the number of the people living in in provinces in Thailand, some province is very small. Right. Some provinces are much much larger with more population. It would be quite unfair uh, for for us to say that there can only be one representative from each province. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, Professor Ukrit, uh, who has been following his legal philosophy, is someone who believes in the value of politicians. He tries to argue that we should not regard politicians as the minister bad people. We should regard them as our representatives. We should ask them to work for us and not to set up this expensive uh, body that will take much more time for us to move forward. Mm -hmm. Right. So there, are, so we can see that there are different formulae uh, presented uh, to the public right now, 
And I think um, it is up for the debate. I don't think there is one absolute best answer, one absolute best formula uh, for the Constitution drafting assembly. But the bottom line is, the people, the process that led to the Constitution is not any way less important than the content of the Constitution that may come in the future. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, would, would you like to outline the, the process of this Charter Amendment just, you know, just to give the viewer an idea, yes. some sort of so idea about how long this will take? Yes, just to give a brief idea, um, the, the process and the time frame depends on the formulae uh, the formula chosen by the, the, the parliament. If the parliament goes ahead with the current proposal by the um, by the government whip, which is seems to be supported by the opposition from the news I just heard, mm -hmm. that that would of course um, require a general election uh, in every provinces in Thailand, so we can have uh, candidates who will be members of the constitution drafting assembly, and then we would have to have the selection process among themselves, among the people selected. So it could take three or four months, and then the, the drafting of the charter, the amendment of the charter, if they are inspired by the 1987 version, it could take less time, given that we changed from 1997 to the, um, to the 2007 version. So it could take roughly eight, nine, or, or 12 months. Mm. But if we use the proposal by the, the National Rule of Law Commission, um, Professor Ukrit Mungkon Nawin suggests that it's much cheaper and much uh, efficient, much more faster to go ahead with the current members of the parliament. We already have the Democrats, the Puyatai, the other smaller parties. We have the Senate who can work together as members who represent the Thai people. They were already elected and chosen uh, through careful process. We should use what we already have. But if we go ahead with Kun uh, Sothi uh, formula that is to use the, the Senate, I think that would be even quicker because the Senate, elected Senate is already there and less people means less time to argue. Hmm. Now, uh, we, we have, before we go, um, regardless the timeline and all that, what do you think is more efficient way com in comparison to two to, um, suggestions? Well, I, I, I think that that really depends on, 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 it's not a matter of principle, I would say. As a lawyer, I don't think that the formula presented is a matter of principle. I think it is more a matter of preference. Right. But let me say this. Let me say this. We have to also bear in mind what are the hot topics, what are the hot issues that will come up in the amendment process. Mm. Let me just give you some uh, basic ideas, some rough thoughts that I have in mind. The first one, inexplicably, uh, inescapably, has to be uh, related to how we can deal with the coup d'etat that ousted Kuntaksin. Mm -hmm. A lot of people try to go beyond Kuntaksin, you know what, but of course um, it, the, the issue will come back. How, how how are the Thai people supposed to re reconcile and move forward as a nation? Are we going to forget mm -hmm. and move on, or are we going to do something similar to the line that Niti Rat proposed, that is to go back, cancel, terminate the, the, the effects following from the coup, and let's start the process all over again? Mm -hmm. Or are we going to go ahead with the amnesty, that is to say, okay, we forgive you, mm -hmm. let's pretend that um, you never committed any crime and, and, and everyone is happy. Mm -hmm. I think this is a very important cornerstone, turning point in Thai democratic history. Are we going to um, say we're going to stick with the principles and make it right or are we going to just you know, move on and forget it? I think this is the first thing to bear in mind. Mm -hmm. And when you look at this issue, you can see the difference of opinion that will come up regarding the formula, who's going to draft the, um, the, the, the constitution, if mm. the Pura Thai led uh, coalition in the parliament right now, people might say it's for Kuntaksin. Right. If it's elected by the people, then uh, there might be less, um, less, uh, restrict, uh, uh, less restriction, less process. Uh, a couple of other ideas would be let's look at the Senate. The Senate right now is half elected, half selected. I think red shirt people are saying this is not democratic at all. Mm -hmm. How are we supposed to run this country dem democratically when half of the high council, the Senate, are chosen by some people say the, the, the coup members themselves? Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that the judiciary is also another interesting topic. Are we going to have the judiciary so independent and powerful that they can bring down political uh, parties in the past? Or are we going to have them? more connected with political branch, for example, mm -hmm. try something similar to what we have in Europe or in the United States. Mm -hmm. Certain judges, certain justices might have to be confirmed by the Senate or by the Parliament. Mm -hmm. So these are all interesting aspects. And you can see the power play between the politicians, the red shirt supporters, and the people. 
uh, who are feeling neutral and want to move forward as a country. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Kun Virapad, once again, for enlightening us and um, giving us all this useful information to us and our viewers. My pleasure, always. Thank you, Captain Jerry. We can wish you a good day. Hello. Hello.